came back and this is going to be a real quick Bible story, hopefully. And I'm going to talk about Job in the Bible, okay? And it's going to be chapter 1. This is New King James Version. And which means is, um, let's call it, there's other versions out there. Um, like the King James Version, the New King James Version, and the New Translation. And they're all the same, but it breaks it down, you know, like... You know, if you didn't understand the King James Version, go to New King James Version. If you don't understand that one, then you can go to the New Translation. There's other ones out there, too. So, um, and there's an NIV, too, Version 2, others. It's all the same, just breaks down, reworded. So, let's get to it. Job Chapter 1 is going to be on the t title, too. Um, if you are don't know... What chapter are we coming from? Is Job chapter one, you know, down there too. So first cha um, chapter, first verse. Okay, there was a man in the land of Oz whose name was Job, and that man was blameless and um, that man was um and upright, and one who feared God and shunned shunned evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. So, basically, this man, he hated evil. He was for um, God. He loved God. He served God. He did not stray from God. He stayed with God. He's the man. And he had ten kids, seven, do um, seven sons, three daughters. Also, his possession um, were 7,000 sheep. 3,000 um, cam um, camels, 500 yoke of ox, 500 female donkeys, and a very large household. So, that this man was the greatest of the people of all of the East. So, basically, he was like a famous person. Had a well, he's wealthy, okay? He's big, got a lot of animals, and um, basically, he's living good. Nothing in need. And his son would go and feast in their houses each on his appointed day and would send and invite their three sisters to eat and with and drink with them. So it was so it was when the days of feasting and um, had run their course that Jacob would sin and sin, um, sacrifice them, and he would rise, raise, um, raise, rise up, basically in the morning, early in the morning, and offer burnt offerings according to the number of them all. For Jacob said, "It may <coughs> be that." My sons have sinned and cursed God in their hearts, thus Job did regularly. What does that mean? That means that he, you know, they, they basically eat, you know, the sons eat. And once they're done, once he's done, um, basically, I mean, done with that food of eating. If they run out, when they run out, the father goes and do the um, offering and basically um, offer the, the, the um, animal um, to God for his sins and then um, gives the animal that they had burnt offerings give to his son to eat more have a bigger meal again meals so that's how they did back in the day they that's how of the way of form of saying sorry to God but that's not how it is done today. But back then it was. So, and also, I wanted to get at that everybody's not perfect. So, it's basically, in, this, in their heart, God knows your heart. So, basically, that's saying, like, okay, you know, he knows he did, does wrong in their heart, in his heart. And he's going to um, basically um, admit to it and ask for forgiveness to God. Because they've been downside, he knows he does wrong. Uh, as in, like, sand or, 
you know, curse God, like you said, inside their heart. Now, there was, oh, I'm sorry. So it's verse 6 we're at now. Now there was a day when the Son of God came to the present, um, present. God came, ah, uh, okay, I'll rewind that, okay? Verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord as Satan also came amongst them. And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on earth, on the earth, and from walk, from and from walking, back and forth on it. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, uh, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil? Which God's saying, um, which that means. So basically they gathered the sons of God gathered and then and present on uh, then and present himself in front of God and then here comes um Satan and God is like where did you come from he said he come from earth back and forth walked on it and then basically you know he's bragging about the man who serves him that was not as loyal to him that's not going to stray away so so Satan answered the Lord and said, we're on verse 9, by the way, now. So Satan answered the Lord and said, does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hudge around him, around his household, and around all that he has on every side, who have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have in priest in the land basically saying that job is so blessed that of course he's gonna serve you he don't need nothing he, he don't need nothing else you know he's happy he's he's got everything he wants he he's thankful for you he, that you gave him everything that he's not gonna curse you because he's not down you know he's not gonna curse you straight away because he has everything in his hand you know he, come on you 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 secured him you know um what what if you took all that away basically what's gonna happen then basically it, and it's gonna get there right here let me read on more where i'm coming from but now stretch out your hand oh for um verse 11 now but now stretch out your hand and stretch all so thank you but now stretch out your hand and touch all that he has and he will surely curse you to your face and the lord said to satan behold all that he um has in his um has is in your power only do not lay a hand on his person so satan went out from the presence of the lord so basically he say if he you subtract everything and take away everything that job has then i guess um guess what he'll curse you in front of your face he'll deny you he don't want you no more bye bye you know you've been good to me now now you do me wrong i don't got nothing you know else to you know ha don't um it that you you took away from me basically that's what he's saying so you know that's what god said okay go ahead and do whatever you want but don't touch the body okay don't touch his body just do whatever you want so he gave the saint and the permission to do that Okay, we're at nine minutes. Uh, we're on 13, okay, verse 13. Now there was a day when his son and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And a messenger came to Job and said the ox were plowing and the donkeys 
feeding beside them. Um, when the Sabians raided them and took them away, indeed they have killed their servants with the edge of the sword, and I alone have escaped to tell you. Oh no! So, what he's saying was his uh, flocks, basically, of the animals, you know, was dying, and the Serbians came and killed a lot of his servants at the same time, and one servant escaped and came back to tell him what had, is happening. Chapter 6, I mean, not chapter 6, verse 6. Okay, 16, verse 16. While he was still speaking, another also, facing another servant, also came and said, The fire of the God fell from heaven and burnt up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I alone have escaped to tell you. So basically, while... The one servant came to him and um, explained what happened to one part of the situation. Another calm came from another part of the situation had happened and burnt up all the sheep and consumed them and stuff. And his servants, other servants, and basically he one servant escaped to tell him. So there's two servants that escaped to tell him what had happened. So everything is falling down right now on him at the same time while on 17 verse 17 while he was still speaking another one also came and said the child chaldeans uh, chaldeans from formed three bands raided the camels and took them away yes and killed the servants with the edge of the sword and I alone have escaped to tell you. So, basically, now Campbell's are gone because they raided and they also more servants died. And one came to tell um, him at the same time. So, that's three servants that came. So, on 18, um, uh, verse 18, while he was still speaking, um, another also came and said, Your sons and daughters were eaten and drinking in their oldest brother's house. And suddenly a great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house and it fell on the young people. And they are all dead. I alone escape and to tell you. So that's basically four service and different situations there. And they came to tell the horrible news. Now what does he have now? You know, his children gone, the herds are gone, the servants a lot and you know, a lot of his servants, you know, is gone. What does he have now? Like he's down to his knees, like what 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 to do, do now? Like, what? let's see what happens. Okay. We're on verse um, 20. Then Job arose, arose, tore his robe, and shaved his head, and he fell to the ground and was shut. And he said, Naked I came from my mother's room and, and make shell.'" 